This video can be applied to any propane marathon hot box that's been built in the last probably 20, 30 years. They're all going to have a basso safety valve. They're going to have the marathon burner down there. First thing we got to do, come over, turn your propane on. Now all marathon hot boxes that are propane uh, are going to be equipped with a basso safety valve and that's to make sure that if going down the road or the propane stops flowing the thermal couple wire which you can get at any local hardware store to replace it's not hard if it goes cold it'll stop the flow of propane so we've turned the propane tank on next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, push on this thermal couple and hold it while we light it. So, pushing it in, you're going to hear the flow of propane. We're going to light it. So now it's lit. Now we got to hold the basso safety valve in for about 30 seconds until such time that the heat that's touching the end of the thermal couple wire comes all the way back to the basso valve and then it's going to allow to keep the, the flow of propane open. Now this one's already been fired today, so it doesn't need to wait as long, but you're going to slowly release the basso safety valve, which I'm doing. And then you'll see that now you got a nice flow of propane going into your hot box. Make sure that you always have the vent lid open up top, and you can use this dial right here to adjust higher or lower the amount of flame you want. And then if you find that your material is really hot, and you don't need it that high, you can turn it all the way down so that it's just giving a little bit of heat, right? But generally I like it up high so that it's heating up the box and material. That's how you use a Marathon propane hot box with the uh, Basto safety valve.